Welcome to Synagogues of Pennsylvania, Part 8. In this episode, we look at a variety of small towns whose name begin with the letter A or B. Our first stop is in Abington, Pennsylvania, with an overhead shot of Temple Beth Ann, the Old York Road Synagogue. It is affiliated with Union for Reform Judaism. Its senior rabbi is Robert S. Lieb, and its associate rabbi is Jake Singer Balin. Shabbat services are held both on Friday evenings and Saturday mornings. The congregation started out in 1947 in Willow Grove. The congregation moved its synagogue to this location in 1950. Originally, it was just called the Old York Road Temple, but in 1959, Beth Am was added to its name. Many congregants from the closed Temple Beth Torah in 2004 joined this synagogue. Today it has a membership role of more than 850 families. Our next stop is Allison Park with Temple Ohav Shalom. It too is Reform and its rabbi is Bryna Milkow. There is both a Friday evening and Saturday morning service for Shabbat. The seeds for this congregation were planted in 1968. The building hidden from view up this road was built in 1999. And the best way to let you see it is with an overhead shot. Our next stop is in central Pennsylvania in the city of Altoona with a population of about 45,000 residents. This area has at least three Jewish houses of worship. This first building is Congregation Agudas Achim. It is conservative affiliated and since 2011 its rabbi is Josh Wohl. The congregation has been around since the early 1880s. Its original building structure in 1895 was also at this location. Services for Shabbat are held both Friday evenings and Saturday mornings, and there is also a Sunday morning minion as well. Here is an overhead shot of Temple Beth Israel, a reform synagogue. Since 2010, it has had a female spiritual leader, Audrey Karatkin. The saga of this synagogue began in 1874 as Mountain City Hebrew Reformed Congregation. In 1922, the name was changed to the current Temple Beth Israel, and it moved to its current location in 1927. We are able to show you its previous site at the corner of 13th Avenue and 15th Street. This building was erected in the late 1890s and is now a Greek church. Our third Jewish presence in Altoona is Chabad Lubavitch Jewish Center of Greater Altoona. Rabbi Yossi Stein is its director. It holds a Friday night Shabbat service the first Friday of each month. This Chabad house also caters to the students who attend Penn State of Altoona. We move over to Ambridge, Pennsylvania and Beth Samuel Jewish Center. It is a house of worship with mixed affiliation. Friday evening services lead towards the Reform style, while Saturday mornings and High Holy Day services find a more traditional conservative approach. This philosophy has been the result of several congregations merging together to become Beth Samuel. It does not have a rabbi but has a female cantor as its spiritual leader. We shift our view to Ben Salem, Pennsylvania. The circling pointer is identifying that in this strip mall, one can find Congregation B'nai Shalom. And anyone familiar with Hebrew will realize that Ben Salem and B'nai Shalom mean the same thing. This congregation is also known as Ben Salem Jewish Outreach Center and is orthodox in practice. The rabbi is Moshe Travitsky. It has a mikvah and also has made sure that the surrounding area has an Erev for use on Shabbat. Services are held on a daily basis both morning and evening. The congregation also has an active community kollel. This is equivalent to postgraduate Torah study. The other Jewish house of worship 
in Ben Salem is Congregation Tiferet Israel. It is conservative egalitarian and led by Rabbi Jeffrey Schnitzer. Shabbat services are held both Friday evenings and Saturday mornings, and there is also a Sunday and Monday morning service and a Tuesday and Thursday evening service. The congregation also offers a nursery school and a religious school. We leave Ben Salem and now turn our attention to Berwyn, Pennsylvania. And look at the sign for Congregation or Shalom. Jacob Rosner is its rabbi. Its branding is the Conservative Synagogue of the Western Main Line. Besides Friday evening and Saturday morning Shabbat services, there is a Sunday morning minion. Other services are held during the week when school is in session. The congregation was founded in 1974. Its first location was in Wayne, Pennsylvania. In the mid-1980s, it moved to this location in Berwyn. But that's enough about Berwyn. Let's head over to Bluebell. This is Tiferet Bet Israel, another conservative synagogue. Besides Shabbat services, there's daily services both morning and evening. Since 2008, the rabbi has been Joshua Caleb. We're looking at an overhead shot at Temple Bethel in Bradford. It's affiliated with the Union for Reform Judaism. There does not appear to be a permanent rabbi. The congregation goes back to 1879 when it was an Orthodox synagogue with the name Bradford Hebrew Congregation. The name Bethel came about in 1958 with the merger of Congregation Beth Israel, a conservative synagogue, and Temple Beth Zion, a reformed synagogue. In the 1960s, this synagogue had more than 200 member families, with declining membership that moved in 2006 to this location. This sign reveals that we are looking at Congregation Bethel Ner Tamid in Brumall, Pennsylvania. Besides Friday night and Saturday morning Shabbat services, there is also a Sunday morning minion. For more than 20 years, Barry Bloom has been its rabbi. There is also Assistant Rabbi Rubenstein. The congregation identifies itself as conservative affiliated. Membership for the year 2015 and 16 is free for new members. This is the last synagogue facility on our list. This is Temple Shalom in Broomall. It is affiliated with the Union for Reform Judaism. Peter Rigler is the rabbi. Shabbat services are held on both Friday evenings and Saturday mornings. The congregation was founded in 1956. This concludes this episode in which we visit towns in Pennsylvania where the first letter of the name is either an A or a B. Lots more synagogues to view. So, bye for now. See you real soon.